Think he cares about the weather? I don't think this one's cared about anything for a long time. Guess crazy has its moments. Guy doesn't even sweat. Look at him. You look at him. He makes me sick. I know that sounds confusing to the layman, so let me explain. You see, it all comes down to this Batman fellow. His psychoerotic behavior is like a net, trapping weak-minded neurotics like Harvey, drawing them into corresponding intersecting patterns. You could say Batman creates his own enemies, committing the crimes using his so-called villains as narcissistic proxies. In other words, the real villain here is Batman. Exactly as I warned, the Batman has infected the minds of Gotham's youth, poisoned these so-called sons of Batman with an insidious excuse for the most violently antisocial behavior. Batman? I'm tired of hearing about him. Why can't he just let things go the way the rest of us do? We count too. So a bunch of psychopaths turn on criminals instead of the rest of us, and you want to blame Batman? I say more power to them. Do not expect any further statements. The sons of Batman do not make speeches. We act. B -b Gotham City belongs to the Batman. B Batman. Darling. They're using his name. He could at least release a clear statement against what they're doing. The Batman doesn't exactly come out with statements to the press. No, he can't, because he's an outlaw! How are the sons of Batman his responsibility? He didn't create them. He absolutely did! They exist because Batman broke up the larger gang. And we're better off for it. Would you prefer the mutant leader still be running things? This Sons of Batman thing is exactly why we didn't want these costumed heroes around ten years ago. And why Batman shouldn't have come back. Because of their effect on our youth, on the public, on the media, you get copycats! I see my favorite patient is up and about. Just super to see how well you're doing. For years, it seemed like you didn't have a reason to go on. Exactly.